Good evening and a warm welcome to Big Budget Business. As we all know, tax season is upon us and a lot of us are running helter-skelter to get our returns submitted. Today we speak to a young business person who's been quoted as saying that tax is to the government what tithe is to the church. Boaho Victor Ratsoswane is the founder of Tax360 and Great Ant. Right, so let's start with an introduction of yourself. What would you like the people out there to know about you? Yes, ke musimana wa ko mutswidi, ke tlogola ko buka, ko khotlanya atlakana, and I'm married to a very beautiful lady, Sirlo uh, Tsoswane, and I'm a father to uh, a very handsome boy, Lewatle. Lovely. Uh, so that's that's that. Ke tsena skolo o le ba botswana. All right. Uh started my primary school ko Pilani. And then I went to Ranoi, then I went to Ranaka, and finished off Go Raditadi. And then I uh, went to Borosi Jesus, and then uh, Mulifi. Thereafter, I did a lot of qualifications around the tax and accounting. Okay. I did my CAT, uh, Certified Accounts Technician, okay. with Baisaho University. And then I did uh, ACCA uh, with BAC, Zona Accountancy College. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I went into do my postgraduate diploma in taxation. Also with BAC. All things tax. Yeah. Yes, all things uh, tax and accounting. Mm. And then I'm currently uh, uh, pursuing uh, my ACCA in Nixki so I'm pursuing pursuing it. Or oh, also with a certified fraud examiner. That's, that's another uh, uh, qualification that I'm I'm pursuing. So oh. school size, you know. Yes. <laughs> it's it's quite busy. I yes, mean, yes, yes. And yes. we we will get into the aspect of how you juggle all of this with yes, your business and yes, everything. Sir. Yes. Sir. Hey. So maybe let's now talk about Boaho, the entrepreneur. Yeah. Where did this knack for entrepreneurship start? How did you get into all of this? Yes, uh, I left my employment uh, 2016, July, on the 5th. Okay. And then uh, the, 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 on the 4th. And then the following day on the 5th, uh, around 11 o'clock, that's when I started my company. Okay. Uh, uh, Great End was launched uh, on 2016, July 5th. Uh, what happened was uh, I had a chat with a friend of mine. Uh, he was running an, an errands company. So this gentleman, I saw him at a, some pitch session, some pitch session go UB. Okay. And then I told him uh, the idea that I'm, I'm a tax guy, but I want to provide the service to Botswana. But I want to do this while I, whilst I'm working. So I told him that uh, you'll be bringing, because the guy runs, runs an errands company. Okay. So you'll be bringing documents to me from my clients. And then I'll be filling the, ret- the returns, and then you take them from me to, to my clients. And then uh, you take them to BURS on my behalf. So the guy's like, no, but this service looks like something that can really work. So why don't we just quit your, your employment and let's do this uh, full time? I'm like, dude, I've got responsibilities. I have, a, I have a son to care for, so you can't tell me to leave employment. So, but the guy's like, no, this should work. So when we did our math, we saw that, no, this thing can really work. So then I, that's when I jumped ship uh, into join entrepreneurship full time. So you took the risk. It's been it's been it's been a very blissful yet uh, uh, challenging journey, mm-hmm. but uh, we are here. It's yeah. been four years now. That's great. Um, I think if we can get to the meat of the matter, yes. Um, young people, um, and and of course young people in business, yes, tend only to worry about this whole taxation issue when they find themselves in difficult situations. Yes. So uh, perhaps tell us um, why. As young people, we need to take taxation matters more seriously. Yes, uh, like you said, uh, one, one of my quotes uh, that uh, tax is what uh, tithes are to, to the church. Uh, tax is very important, mm-hmm. and I always tell people that taxation should not be an afterthought. When you're a business person, when you're an entrepreneur, tax should not be an afterthought. When you think of profits, mm-hmm. think of tax immediately after thinking of how much I want to make. Think that the other percentage that we make. It's not yours. It's for the government. Uh, and even you know that in the Bible, uh, Jesus talks about texts. I think it's about four texts where, where he says the same thing. Mm. Uh, where he says, uh, give Caesar what's due unto Caesar. Mm. I think it's in Matthew 22 verse 21, in Luke 20 verse 28, and Mark 12 verse 17. Wow. All this <laughs> just says the same thing, that give what's due to Caesar to Caesar. Mm. So this shows you that very, text is very important. Mm-hmm. And then if that's not enough, on Matthew 17, verse 27, Jesus tells Peter to go into the sea uh, to catch a fish and then take coins from that mouth of the fish and pay tax. Yes. So that shows you that Jesus really upholds 
this institution of taxation mm-hmm. so even us as, as as people as citizens something that we should really take uh uh uh, uh, uh highly uh, especially when, 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 when in business because uh tax on its own it's it's it's, uh, it's, it's an institution that really helps uh, uh the developments of 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 the country absolutely you know currently uh, our our gdp uh, tech contributes about 40 percent to the gdp about 40 percent to the gdp and on the annual uh, collections uh so our levies is going to about 75 percent wow. so this shows that tax is very important so for every entrepreneur for every uh, uh, employee for every citizen they should really take uh tax compliance yes. very 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 highly yes so uh, I think I can, I can go on and go on and go on and go <laughs> yeah, on. Of course, yeah, of no, yeah. And it's quite interesting for us to see that this taxation issue is something that um, has quite a historical connotation. Yes, um, yes. You've cited the Bible, for yes, instance. Yes. It's it's something that has been used. And this just, you also alluded to the fact that um, it's what's used for us to develop yes. our, our nations, yes. our economies. and. Yes. I mean, I, for one, am a beneficiary of a lot of, you know, exactly. tax pay. I, aren't exactly. we all? Exactly. You know, all the, of us. The fact that we can live in yes. this peaceful country yes. with everything, it's a benefit of the taxes. Yes. Yes. All right. So now let's get into Tax 360 and a Great Ant. Yes. Tell us about these businesses and um, perhaps delve into the specific services that you provide. Yes. Uh, like I said, Tax 360 is a service under Great Ant, which was coined uh, 2016 when you found the niche. Uh, that, that we found the challenge that uh, then uh, we'll see people queuing every September around the last week of September we'll see people queuing at BRS or then BRS used to do temporary uh, 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 stations in, in malls so people will be queuing there the whole day uh, to submit their tax returns so we found this as a niche that you know people should be at the employments or at the businesses not queuing the whole day at BRS. So we found that to be a niche that we can uh, provide a solution to. Mm-hmm. And that's when now we coined Tech360 uh, together with the, uh, my then partner uh, who was running a logistics company. Okay. So we came together and then we provide the service by saying, okay, instead of you going to BRS, we'll go to your office or your home or wherever you are, uh, fill your tax return and then take it on your behalf to BRS. You don't have to go to, Very to, convenient. to, to BRS. Convenience. We're actually selling convenience mm-hmm. and compliance. So, but then that was before the introduction of e-services. Yes. So, but now e-services now came in now to provide convenience. But still, people, tax is a very technical uh, 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 subject. So, most people, even though they, that convenience to file online, but they still really don't understand the integrities of taxes. Mm-hmm. So, so we come in now to provide now that technical uh, 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 advisory on, on, on matters of taxation to both businesses and, 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 and individuals. Okay. So now to answer your question, what services you provide? You provide tax advisory uh, and compliance. Okay. You also offer other services that are that are affiliated to taxation, mm-hmm. like business advisory. We do, uh, do, do, do the diligences. We do, a strategic, uh, you do your growth strategies for, 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 for businesses. Okay. So, so we, do, we, do, we do a number of businesses, uh, a number of businesses beyond taxation, but our main main service will, will, be, will be tax, tax training and advisory. All right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's basically all things tax. Uh, yeah. And you, you yeah. just to cite again, you you said you said that you provide this um, service to uh, individuals as well as businesses. Yes. Yes. And then there's a word that you mentioned there. You said a niche, and then you said um, we saw that there was a challenge. I think if you've been if if you've been following the show, you yeah. will yeah. note that the entrepreneurs that come here talk about solving problems. You also did say that you you sell convenience. Yes. Wow. So it's, it's always up to us as entrepreneurs to see what challenges people are facing and how we can address them and then obviously try and make some profit out of that. Um, perhaps we can get into your biggest challenge thus far. And you had already started talking about challenges yes, when I asked yes, the first question. Yes, so yes. Um, I think this one you can discuss at length. Yes. yes. How you've been facing um, so far and how you'd advise um a young person in business out there, but how can they navigate the system? Basically, it puts a game a big budget uh, because because uh, more often we we know the statistics says that uh, most businesses die within the first uh, year between the first year and and and, and, and the fourth year. Exactly, so. they die. So 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 we find that a lot of uh, this uh, 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 death of, of businesses is because of these challenges. 
number one of the challenges that uh, I faced, and I know that a lot of businesses also face, is really understanding what your market and your economy requires from you as the business. Right. Because uh, when you are also, before you start a business, when you're doing a business plan or thinking of starting a business, you'll find niches, you'll find problems mm -hmm. that you think now by providing a solution to you, you'll profit from. Mm -hmm. And then when you, now that's through, through theoretically, right? Yes. Theoretically, you'll find those challenges and those problems. But now when you get into the business, you find that really, as much as those problems are there, as much as uh, you providing the solution to those problems will profit you, but the market and economy are not ready for you to provide that uh, 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 solution. Okay. They are not willing to pay for your solution. And that can be very discouraging. Exactly. That can be exactly. very discouraging. Exactly. So with us, that's what we, we that's one challenge that we, we saw. Because when we started, our business model was that we we're going to provide this solution to all taxpayers. Uh, from everyone who's employed, everyone who's in 30,000 bula and above, yes. who has to file for taxes, this service is for them. And then we charged very little, uh, we charged 150 per 10. Okay. Thinking that we will maximize now on the numbers. Mm -hmm. We found that uh, people were not willing. Okay, some came forth, but a lot of people uh, found that going to BURS and spending the whole day there, so it's, it's, for them it's not a problem. They will do that. They would they, rather go to BURS themselves and spend the whole day there. But wait, let me interrupt you there for a second. So what I'm gathering here is that um, you are saying that in as much as people liked the product or the service that you had for them, yes. they were not necessarily willing to actually jump on board. Exactly. Okay. I said, earlier I said, the market and the economy might not be ready for your solution, despite it being a solution to, that, to the problems that they have. People are queuing at BYS the whole day. That's a problem. Yeah. They spend the whole day there. <laughs> But you have a solution that I'll rather uh, people come to me so that I they don't spend the day could be URS. That's the solution. But people are not willing to pay. They they, 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 they found going to be URS it being a problem, but they were not willing to part with their money for you to solve the problem on their behalf. But then we realized that I said uh, the market yes. and the economy. Yes. We realized that now people there were people that saw the need mm -hmm. for this service that we provided. Earlier, when we crafted uh, the business, we saw that we, we wanted to give this solution to everyone. But we saw that this, this solution is not for everyone. Not there are certain everyone. select people yes. that are willing to pay for this service. You can't please everybody. You can't please everybody. Okay. So, so, so now, the mastering the market and the economy, for you to be able now to craft your, 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 your business model to suit the market and the economy is very key to all businesses. Uh, for all startups. So now we then restructured our business model to say, okay, now we're providing this service now to the select few, mm -hmm. to the elite prime clients. Okay. And obviously, when there are select prime clients, we need to charge a premium. Okay. So now we now we charged a premium, and then we, 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 we only uh, look focusing on on a few a few specific few group. specific group. Yes. So 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 that's one challenge that a lot of uh, a lot of us as as, as 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 small businesses we face and we fail. Must have been. That's why now a lot of business die. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Okay, so in as much as we have a brilliant idea that we feel will change the world, mm. we need mm. to understand the dynamics of the market that exactly. we're operating exactly. in exactly. and exactly. see if people are actually ready and willing because they may have the capacity to do so, yes. but they might not be able to be willing to, to jump on board. Yes. All right. No, so that's a great challenge. Maybe uh, let's just talk about any other challenges that you faced or anything that you feel you'd want to share also. Yes. Uh, going back now to, to, to the issue of taxes and, uh, uh, and, and, and businesses, uh, compliance is a very uh, uh, subject that Mobuzwana, we're not very, very, very keen okay. to, to, to be compliant on taxes because we find uh, we, we, we often want to do, we often like to do DIY, mm -hmm. do it yourself. Okay. So tax, like I said, is a very technical uh, subject. Okay. So you find that when I'm doing DIY, I miss a uh, very critical things uh, that need to be addressed. Uh, you find that motor halloring, for example, uh, is an employee. Yes. And they have uh, another uh, a source of income somewhere. They have a rental or whatever. So most of the time, that taxes, and they will miss the fact that they need to put expenses 
mm. other rental business yes to deduct them from from the the, the, the income okay yeah. or that uh, interest on the loan that they got to build this uh, rental uh, property yes. it's actually deductible so without deducting those. So I find that Mutoting what you are more tax than they were supposed to have been charged. So that like I always say, uh, we need as people to accept that we are limited in knowledge. We can't do everything. So engaging a knowledgeable person who is trained to do such is very important. We must think that we are spending more. But engaging that person can actually save you even more money Absolutely. than the one that you you spend. So I'll, this is this, this is a challenge that I face as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a tax advisor mm -hmm. that people would like to do would like to do DIY than engage us. Mm -hmm. So this is now a cry to 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 business uh, community and individuals yeah. to say, if you are limited in knowledge, engage us to help you Absolutely. because that way you'll be helping yourself by making sure that you save money yeah. and time. Of course. Yes. Yes, and I mean you learn a lot every day because a yeah. lot of people might just think that your taxes are paid simply on whatever it is that you mm, earn that mm, your mm, your business has mm. gotten, and yet you can deduct a lot of those exactly. pre-tax exactly. pre-tax expenses, and then that reduces or, or overall it it sort of gives you a cushion. Yes, it does. Oh, it does. It does. It does. So, Waho, just tell us how can people out there reach or access your services? Uh, my services we we we're currently working uh, from Tokeng. Okay. Uh, but we we, we, we we reach the whole of Botswana. Uh, wherever you are, you just give us a call uh, on the numbers that uh, we'll share. Uh, or we're also on Facebook. Yes. You're also on, 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 on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. all, the, all, the, all the social media platforms. Get us there and then we'll be able to provide you with, 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 with our services. But currently, our offices are in Main Mall and Tokwing. Tokwing and Main Mall, that's where you can find us. But you can call 73 311 then if you call us, then we'll be able to, to, to assist you with whatever text matters that you, you might have. Once again, Wafo um, Victor Ratsoswani, yes. thank you so much. This has been quite an insightful session. Um, guys out there, let's all take tax matters more seriously because it will benefit us in the long run. Let me thank you once again for being here. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you, Big Budget. All right. Right, our two-minute tip for today. Um, let's give you a scenario. So you've set up your business, your bank accounts and everything, and you're ready to go. However, here comes the question, how am I going to market my product? So in marketing your product, we advise you to think of what we call the marketing mix. The marketing mix is basically a composition of four Ps. The four Ps being number one, product. You will think about the product in terms of its design, its naming, and its packaging, and other aspects of that sort. That's the first P. The second P would be place. How exactly are your customers or consumers going to reach or access your product? Number three, pricing. P, that's the third P. You'll think about the cost that you've incurred to get your product, to develop it into what it is, and what you think your clients will pay for it. And the fourth P is promotion. Now, this basically speaks to the aspect of advertising, communications, and PR. What message are you trying to convey to bring your customers towards your product? So in thinking about how to market our product, let's think about the four P's of the marketing mix. Product price place and promotion so from me big budget and the team it's good night and god bless and always remember that you were born for so much more <laughs>